Hello, staff member. <laughs> I am this staff member now. Wait. Oh, you did not just start running in front of me. Don't panic, everyone. I got the imposter. It's definitely not me. I'll take good care of it. <laughs> Three to open. Hang on. Look at this dude. Why is he hanging around the body? Nah, I don't trust this guy. I knew it! Oh, he's gone invisible. Are you fucking blind? Where did he go? You can't see me! That's him! You can't escape me! Oh. I just turned into the guard that was about to kill me! Ah. Turn into a box! No! No! I was gaming! Oh, I get such a rush from this game, man. It's great. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Deceive Inc. Now, if you haven't heard about this one, it's basically a PvP spy v spy deduction extraction shooter on PC, as well as PS5 and Xbox Series consoles. Your main goal is to break into a vault, steal a briefcase, and then attempt to extract that briefcase while every other player on the map is trying to do the exact same thing before you. If you've played Hitman, Among Us, Overwatch, Team Fortress, Hunt Showdown, and even Assassin's Creed multiplayer from back in the day, Deceive Inc. is a genius amount of all of those games, and I am completely addicted. Yeah, it's a hero shooter, but it's got a high skill gap that requires you to actually use your brain for once. I know, I forgot I even had one of those. This isn't like those mind-numbing recycled shooters that we've all been playing lately, and I'm seriously rooting for this one to succeed because I just think it's brilliant, and finally, a game that isn't in f***ing early access. <sighs> Deep breaths, Tom. Right, you can play solo, one life only, or trios where you can be revived by your teammates. And I'm sure by now you have lots of questions, but hopefully I can answer most of them by the end of this video. So drop a like for the algorithm, and let's just jump into a match where I can actually show you how this game works. <laughs> no way they were both disguised as guards. Should we play as Madame Shu again? She's pretty good. She's also... <laughs> Kind of bad. Never bet against me. So Madame Shu has an auto crossbow that does pretty weak damage. I have no time for this. But her ability lets you disguise yourself from range, which is huge. Oops. And then there's your tactical abilities that you can customize. This is the mimic device that lets me turn into furniture. Like a prop up, basically. And now I'm a chair. This is the pre-game lobby, by the way. This guy sat in the chair. <laughs> what the f***? All right, this is it. Operation Diamond Spire is a go. Now we change into an NPC. In a polka dot dress. And if I do any action, like shooting when I suspect a player, my cover will be blown. First things first, though. We need to get intel. Too so easy. we can open doors and stuff. I see you now. Oh. That was my passive, by the way. I can see when they shoot in my vicinity. I'm just going to push this. There you are. Crossbow does such low damage, but... That's the price of full auto. Where are you hiding? Hello? Just a transaction, really. See what I mean? Should have been more careful with those. Alright, I gotta wait for my cover to come back. Now you can see in the bottom left corner that I'm in disguise again. And you can heal up a little bit with fruit and food that you can find around the map. I need to improve my disguise though. I can't get in there where the security are. There are maids about. Hmm. That symbol indicates a health station as well. Why are you running? That's a bit suspicious. Not the outcome we had in mind. Okay, you're innocent. And I've got no ammo. 
gonna have to flick them to death. You can't hide. I'm way too clever. Kill the security. Oh my god, it's Wreck It Ralph. I might have alerted some players in the area, but you can see at the very top of my screen it says I'm in the wrong cover. So now that I'm in this outfit, those security guards out there won't aggro on me, basically. They did just revive the one that I killed, though. That was interesting. Right. I need to get some more intel. You can see at the very bottom of my screen, there's a number seven. I need one more to get inside that purple door. There we go. Uh, or I can find key cards around the map. You are a player. What was that? Oh my god, I'm out of ammo again. He's got an auto turret as well. Why are they always running around? Like, it just gives them up immediately. Oh, I'm so sorry, cleaning lady. <laughs> she got killed for no reason. I'll take good care. Won't hurt to try. Right, he had an overclock chip, which is basically a perk. You can get those out of safes. And you can customize your perk deck in the menu. Intel is full. You can get ammo for Intel, but... Let's open this door. All right, we're looking for a vault right now. There's three phases to this Better game. Luck elsewhere, agent. No vault terminal here. So these vault terminals are supposed to be random spawns. And there isn't one here. So we'll get the intel from this room. There's a blue keycard there as well. What did I just do? I just pushed the protein Open out of the way. Policy. I suppose there are fake tasks you can do to look like an AI. Get the safe open, why not? A worthy investment. Easy enough. Reduced expertise cooldown. Just enough intel to get some ammo as well. Yes, yeah, so my goal right now is just to try and get all of my perks and get into one of those vault rooms that I just went into. Uh, I need to find a terminal that will allow me to get my final gold perk and then... The main vault doors will open, and I can steal the briefcase. But right now, I'm just checking out these waypoints to try and find the vault. Like I said, it's random each time, so... Could be any one of these. Where... Where did the other one go? Oh, it is there. It's facing the wrong way. I only ever run when I'm hidden. And then if I do happen to get spotted, I can just press my ability. This is a joke. And switch to someone else. I already have a green key card, don't I? That's displayed the middle right of my HUD there. Got something out of it, at least. Yeah, these binoculars are a gadget that I equipped. You don't always get these. Usually you have to stand next to the intel to gather it, but someone fired a gunshot to my left. Six minutes on that door. And then they just open for everyone, regardless if you interact with the terminal. And three terminals need to be disabled in total for the main doors to open. And there's three phases, like I said. Insurgent phase, which is what we're doing now. Trying to find perks and the vault terminals so that we can get in the vault before anyone else. This is a guard room. Funny that was a purple key card. Nice work. Yes. Vault terminal found. I got here first, so I get the perk on the right there. Congratulations on a vault terminal deactivated. That's one terminal down. How long? You arrive a little faster and have deactivated a vault terminal. Someone got a terminal after me. Others seem to be doing your job for you. Okay, there we go. A vault terminal was deactivated. Vault doors should be open in a second. Gotta be careful because any one of these civilians could be a player. 
Vault open. Time to infiltrate. All right, screw it. I'm running there. I was the first to find a vault terminal, so hopefully I'm the first in there. Okay, we're in. This is a guard room, but I'm dressed as a guard. <laughs> Ow. I don't think that would take as much damage as it did. Someone's shooting. I need to find health now. That's annoying. What the hell? Alright, this is where the intensity starts building. Everyone is going for that exact same briefcase. So I've got to be on high alert right now. Like that guy there could be a player. Yeah, they don't see me turning, by the way. Because obviously you're trying to pretend to be an AI the whole time. So basically to other players, you're always facing the direction that you're walking. But you could be looking directly at them for all they know. Just snuck past that door <laughs> without unlocking it and became a technician. Oops. We're in a technician room and there was a guard. I don't know about those two at that door. That's a bit weird. That's actually very sus. I'm just going to try and get the case. Maybe the player that was disguised as that guard changed into a technician. I don't know. But yeah, each member of staff is tied to a different room. So right now... Only technicians can be in the purple room. Only guards can be in the blue room. The maids can only be in green, for instance. And this is a VIP room, but there's no VIPs around. As far as I can tell. So I might just have to... Hack it as a technician. Alright, screw it. Ten intel to open. That green light means that there's no one in here. And now that it's turned red means that I am... So other players will see that red light on the outside. And know that another player could be camping in here. Surely they can't go up there. Worthy of my collection. Oh, you probably could with a jump pad. Don't trust those two. Don't trust you either. I don't trust anyone. I'm just going to run. If they shoot me, then... Wait. They closed the door on themselves. Critical. What a dummy. <laughs> he tried to sneak in before they closed. Oh, damn. I'm on 1 HP. I didn't realize. I'm disguised again. I need to play it safe. Find food. Or a health station somewhere. 100% health would be... Incredibly clutch right now. Hopefully you guys understand this game a bit now. Like what I'm trying to do. And that any one of these NPCs could be a player. Yes. Yeah, that gold perk I have is increased health from food. So I'll get a bit more than usual. Yeah, it usually gives 10, but it looks like it's giving me, like, 15, 20. Just gonna play it slow while I have low health. I need to turn into a god. <laughs> oh my god, that was a player! No way! Should have been more careful with Give me all the loot. You. I, oh. <laughs> I was about to get my cover back. That's the technician I turned into before. Extraction vehicle has arrived. We are not out of the woods yet. That was insane. The guard I changed into was the body was occupied by another player. Do you even realize what just happened? Okay. The adrenaline right now. <laughs> it doesn't help that the music's like picking up. Right, I need to get to the extract which is on the roof. Let me use this staircase. But you can see at the very bottom there, 
Every time that circle fills up, it does a ping and shows the enemy where I am. So I'm being very conscious about where I'm positioning myself so that I'm not always, like, going up the same set of stairs because they'll have a constant ping of where I am. I'm just going to walk slowly because I could get sniped any second. There's so many different classes in this game. A sniper can actually, like, if they hit me, then they spot me and can follow my footsteps. So if I change into someone... They could literally just follow me even when I'm disguised. Now this is what I needed. Oh! That was a long enough break. Get back to it. Oh, I don't know which one it was. There's like three of them there. I don't know why that guy was running. It's one of these two. They're dressed in the same outfit. Oh wait, I forgot. You can use the briefcase to actually Rival see the enemy. Detection mode started. Intel running low. Yeah, you know when you grab a bounty in Hunt Showdown, you can see the player. That's basically what this is. If you take the briefcase and you just have like a free ability to detect players in your vicinity. It doesn't look like there's anyone nearby. I don't really know what I'm looking out for. Yeah, so if I face backwards like that, they don't see me turn around. I'm always walking forwards, the direction that I'm actually moving in. Actually allows you to blend in with the NPCs. Here we go. 55 meters away from victory. Can he do it? I might be the only one left in the game, you know. I don't know what I'm supposed to look out for when I use this ability, though. It's not highlighting anyone, so... Just have to stand within the extract circle and then I'm gone. Yes! We won it! If there is anyone else left in the map, then they've lost the game. Never bet against me. Oh, baby, baby. Four elims we got there. That was awesome, dude. This game is so fun. You have to play it to actually understand. To feel it, you know? <laughs> it's so good. You've got, like, actual unique characters. All with different abilities and progression systems. Uh, so you can unlock new outfits and weapons and abilities. It's sick, dude. I've not played anything like this in so long. Seriously, what a game. Go down and